All right, today I'll be checking out something new that I haven't seen before. Kaizen Linux, a self-proclaimed Linux distribution for IT professionals. This is the Kaizen Linux website where I'll put a link in the description below, but let's check out what they offer here. You can see the various different things as we scroll through different screens, tools, and what have you, but we'll get into that in just a moment because I'm going to boot up a live environment of it. But let's talk about some of the specifications here for Kaizen Linux. It uses the AMD64 architecture, so for 64-bit processors. The default desktop environment here is Mate. Other desktop environments available, KDE, XFCE, and LXQt. Latest version is the Rolling 2.1 version. And finally, if you need live credentials, you can get them. We have Mate available, KDE for download, XFCE desktop, and here we have LXQt. This here is the net install version and a base CD install. One thing I want to mention is if you do go install Kaizen Linux, I suggest using the net installer because the mirrors are much faster, at least for me. The full download can take up to three hours. So some of these here take up to three hours to download with their current mirrors because they aren't the fastest, but you can make the same installation with the net installer, which only took me about 10 minutes to download. Of course, the downside here is you need a persistent internet connection in order to go through the basic install process with the other versions you don't. So if you don't have a internet connection that you can give to your installer, don't bother. But now let's boot up Kaizen Linux real quick and check some stuff out. All right, and here's the loading screen for Kaizen Linux. Again, for professional IT users, the Plymouth theme here looks pretty neat in my opinion. Going straight through there, we get the login screen where we can type in our user and password and get in, where we will be welcomed by the default desktop environment, which is Mate. And if you like dark themes, oh, well, I have good news for you. If you just look around this environment, you'll notice the default Mate desktop has a dark theme applied right out of the box. So you can work steadily through those nights of IT and cybersecurity projects on your production environments. I think it looks really clean here. Joking aside, the default theme here is wonderful. In my opinion, easy on the eyes, easy to use and minimal using Mate. Up in the top left-hand corner, we have user applications in Kaizen Linux. So the user applications are just some sub categories that come with some defaults here. Let's talk about those defaults. The accessories here, you have some of the Mate tools, such as the search tool, font viewer, and calculator. You have PyCom, Pluma, text editor, taking a screenshot, and Emp Grandpa in archive manager. Graphics give you Eye of Mate image manager, the GIMP tool, LibreOffice Draw, and the Mate color selection tool. Internet gives you Firefox. Qubit Torrent, Thunderbird, Office gives you the LibreOffice suite. Sound and video comes with VLC media player and system tools. Again, Mate tools for the most part here and the Kaizen terminal. So speaking of the Kaizen terminal, let's check out what that is. And the default shell here is ZSH. You can use sudo apt to install your favorite applications. One of the ones I'm getting is HTOP, so we can see system resource usage. Now this is a Debian based distribution. So take advantage of those dev packages also here in Kaizen Linux. But before we get too far in here, if you need a Linux checklist or cheat sheet, make sure to check out my description below where you can download one. Let's get back to applications and look at the tools that Kaizen is actually known for here. The administration tools where you have network tools, all sorts of tools that help you test networks and even some cybersecurity tools that you can use. We'll go through these categories in a moment, but this is the reason why Kaizen Linux is so nice for IT professionals is because you can administer different networks, systems, file systems, use maintenance tools such as data recovery, analysis, hardware analysis, and partitioning or erasing. And then of course you have some extra tools on top of it, miscellaneous tools that they give you or that you install by yourself, which I've already installed a couple for my needs. But anyway, in the network section, we have things under console port. So if you want to do serial port examination, you can with some of these serial console tools, ethernet examination, 
as well as packets, generation, displaying ethernet information, and statuses, GNS3, so a router emulator, NVRAM configuration export, U-Bridge for UDP tunnels, VPCS for simple virtual PC simulators. Now these are all tools that come with their ethernet tools package. You can simply install it by selecting one of the default installs, or if you go through the network installer, you can select the tools. IF config comes standard here with other IP tools for tracing and figuring out information about your network. Mac here, this is all about ARP requests and manipulating the ARP table, as well as changing the Mac address. Monitoring allows you to monitor certain things on your network. Again, everything is for the network category here, TCP, UDP, VPNs, Wi-Fi, even an Aircrack NG, so you can test the Wi-Fi security with Aircrack and other tools to analyze packets in various different clients. Fantastic things to use. And one of my favorite tools here is Wireshark, a packet analyzer, super user-friendly, and a default application here if installing the Ethernet tools package. System gives you access to app armor tools, backing up, DNS, spoofing and lookup, remote administration, along with two remote access tool, Ramina, and remote viewer file systems gives you access to tools that help you examine partition and do various different things known for here the administration such as ntfs mkfs you have file system check exfat and btrfs maintenance tools gives you access to data recovery disk analysis hardware tools and partitioning and erasing and of course we've seen miscellaneous tools already but basically updating a profile created by a user, the default profile, and switching graphical interfaces easily. We'll keep going around the desktop environment, but if you haven't already smashed that like button for me, would you use Kaizen Linux for your IT needs? Let me know in the comment section below with all those tools specified. What we have in the background here is you can move things around the desktop. Some Linux distributions do not give you this option with their various different desktop environments. We have access to such things as the root directory from computer. Savvy Nix Home is this user's home directory with pictures, public templates, videos, downloads, documents, and desktops. And you can browse your network from here. This, of course, is a themed Kaya, which is a file manager that Matei uses. Moving on, your network servers. So you can set up through the use of this. And then trash, of course, your trash bin. Other things up top. You have places, which gives quick access to a few things, including your home folder, your desktop, computer, network, connect to a server, the Mate search tools, and any recent documents you've had opened. System gives you access to preferences, administration, control center, help about Mate, locking the screen, logging out the current user, or shutting down the system. Then we have a few icons here, which give you access to the terminal, the default web browser here is Firefox. You can take a screenshot, get Kaya the file manager, up or Pluma the text editor. In the far right hand corner, we have our wired or wireless connection, including VPN connections if we have them. And to the right of that, we have the current time, date, and calendar if selected, including a map of the world with the current time and night versus date locations. You can hit the edit tool to edit settings. On the bottom right side, you'll notice some numbers which are just different virtual workspaces that you can go between if necessary. On the bottom, you'll notice if you have multiple things open. Let's just open up computer, savvy Nick, the users, home directory, and now we can switch between those various different windows from the bottom here. Finally, on the very far left-hand corner, if you have a bunch of things open, just click it and it shows your desktop automatically. Now let's check out some of the system resource usage information. But if you're also trying to be a content creator, make sure to check out editbulk.com. Use promo code SavvyNick-10 in order to get 10 free days. I'll put a link in the description below as well as a promo code to use. It's a great find and replace tool necessary for all creators, so check it out. Now let's talk about system usage. 
very low when it comes to memory usage here. We have 567 megabytes out of the eight gigabytes available on the system. Very well for the Mate desktop environment, fairly minimal. Not much being used by the desktop itself. You can compare this to some of the recent versions of GNOME using upwards of one gig of memory, almost twice as much. The CPU is running between zero and 1.3%. We have currently 70 tasks, 131 threads, 89 kernel threads, and we've been up for 13 minutes at this point. Very well, let's go on and talk about system information. So this is Kaizen Linux 2.1, the rolling edition, 64 bit. Currently this is being, the current kernel is 5.17, a Kaizen edited kernel for the AMD 64 architecture. Uptime is 13 minutes. Packages, there are 1,982 source packages that come with this installation. This is Mate Desktop 1.26 with the Kaizen official themes and icon set. The terminal is Terminator with Kaizen's theme applied up on top of it. This is being emulated on an AMD Ryzen 7 3700X series today. And currently we're using up 858 megs out of the eight gigs. Now what's interesting is I thought that their default shell was ZSH, but I believe I was wrong about that. Let's just check real quick if I, if I clear things out and let me try ZSH here. Okay, now I'm in ZSH for auto completion needs. Yes, okay. So now I'm using the shell for, it's actually installed, but it is not the default. We can exit out of here back to uh, bash if we want, or if you wanna use ZSH, you can. ZSH is nice just because it gives you some extra tools, a little easier to get around in my opinion, and a little more clear on where you're currently located. Fun stuff like that. Anyways, they have their own theme going here, whatever they've installed for ZSH. Looks fine to me. If we go over to the root directory, we'll see what things look like. I'll head over to the home users directory, check that out, get into Savvy Nick. And yeah, you can get a picture of what everything looks like. Let's just see what it looks like with everything displayed here in a list. All great. Well, let me know if you're gonna be using Kaizen Linux for your professional IT needs. Does it have all the tools that you wish Windows came with for your IT needs? Let me know in the comment section below. Also make sure to subscribe below, hit that notification bell for more Linux and programming videos. Catch me in a great community on Discord and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.